and welcome to People's Court. I'm Jo Edwards. Today we are outside Birmingham Magistrates Court to find out people's stories and their opinions of the court system. Take a look. Now we're going to talk to Dave Russell and find out about his long struggle to have decent access to his son. like to have? What access would you like to have? Well, split down the middle. Split okay. down the middle. Split down the middle. Half Obvi and half. Half and half. Obviously, he's got to stay with his mum because he's so young. Yeah. Right. So the bond, boys bond more he with needs them. His mom. Yeah, he needs his mum. But at the same time, he also needs need, need, needs his dad as well. Of and I, I don't want to I don't want to be one of these fathers where for that uh, my son only ever sees me uh, sees me at Christmas and on his birthdays and things like that because then. He ain't got no foundation, he hasn't got nothing at all. And like I always used to say to him, you know, I said, son, it's not everything you see that I can give it to you, because there'll probably come a point where I won't have it to give to him, and then because he's already with his mum already, he's going to say, well, your dad's no good, your dad's no good, and then he's going to come and see him, he's going to ask him for something, and I can't give it to him. So and then... are the courts quite supportive for you? Or no, you no, 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 no. And then I'm, I'm actually in a process now where I'm actually going to... Uh, Appeal the two court uh, the two decisions what they made, and then also uh, I'm going to go. To, there's another place where I've got to go to, where I'm going to uh, put in to make an official complaint about the judges because they had already made their minds up even before I got before I got in there. Right. It was just a formality. It's just for me because like I'm in a position that you go to court, you try and put your point across. It's like you don't get nothing, and then when you don't go to court, right, they'll still award it against you anyway. Right. talk to Jonathan, who tells us how his addiction to heroin led him to a life of crime. Okay then, so I'm talking to Jonathan now. He's still waiting to go into court, aren't you? Yeah. You've been waiting all morning, I've been watching you. Yeah, it's half nine. Okay, so what have you been waiting for? Why are you in court? Uh, uh, for a, a common assault and assault on a policeman. So tell me what happened in this assault. Uh, basically, I can't remember much of it because I was drunk, and it, I'd had an argument with my girlfriend, and um, I just went out on a mad one, and I ended up um, getting drunk, and then an ambulance got called because I was sitting on the floor. I had a, I pushed the uh, ambulance driver, and then the police came, arrested me, and then basically I kicked him, and then. Yeah, so you just got into a massive kind of fight. But it wasn't a massive fight; it was just like a scuffle, really. And Is then, this in your character to kind of be no, like this? No, no, no. I was, I'd been drinking like spirits and that. And so. did you know the guy that you got into the fight with? No. You know, ever met him before? No. Was he drunk? No, no, like it was an ambulance man. Right. And then I can't remember doing it, but it's just what the statement said I did. I pushed him away. Then um, the police came, arrested me. So me the guy was working at the time? Yeah, yeah, which is quite bad. Yeah, so and, um, do you think that's made it more difficult for you now because obviously yeah. he's doing a good job? Yeah. And, um, you feel quite bad about it? Yeah, I feel really bad about it. Like, okay. Not so much the copper, but the ambulance driver. Yeah. Like, so what did you do to him then? Just pushed him, pushed him away from me. Right. Because uh, I had a cut on my hand and there was blood everywhere. Yeah. And um, I think all he was doing was trying to help and I've just pushed him away. Yeah, because you were drunk. Yeah. So it's come to court today. It's yeah. the first time it's been in court today. Well, um, three weeks ago, I, I, so I was arrested and came to court the next day, and um, they adjourned it for reports. Oh right, so you so, should get us kind of a verdict today. Yeah, I'm hoping for a, like a custody, not a, um, a community centre. Don't say that. <laughs> you don't want custodial. No. So you're hoping for community service or a probation or. What's the worst that could happen today? Uh, custody. Let's find out a little more from Dave Russell. Yeah. What, were you, what have you been in prison for? Because that, that relating back to the to, to this issue with the county court, with the county court when they turned around and they said to me, uh, she she went and made this allegation. She said that she was but frightened she, of you, me. You'd be yeah, yeah, her. yeah, right. And then, uh, but what they actually done? Uh, she went back to the court and she got this uh, nothing to uh, like. An injunction kind of thing, right? And because uh, I broke it, I, I broke the injunction. Right. You know, I broke the injunction because uh, even when I went to the court the one time, and then the, the court says to me, uh, 
they wanted my name and address to where they could send the dockets to me to notify me when to come to court. I gave everything to the courts, my name and address, and they said they would notify me. And what the courts actually did, what they actually went and done, notified the other side, they never notified me, and then, uh, what is it, the other side solicited the phone, me up, and they were saying to me uh, to come to court. And I said, well, you got no right to be calling me because the court said that they would so notify me. that's what me. you ended up going to prison for? Yeah, yeah. And then, because what, so I actually left from, uh, I left on my, from my house, went over to the court, and then, uh, like, my ex was in the court, and the solicitor was there, so I went up there, and I yelled abuse, I asked her, why, why did she phone my house? She had no right to phone my house. So then, after that, I left the court, and I was so annoyed because the judge didn't even turn around and even say, well, you know, well, Mr. Russell, you've done everything what you required us to do, right, coming to court. He never even carpeted the other side. He more wanted to carpet than me. So I just walked out of the court, and then what my ex and the solicitor actually went to the police and said, oh, I made threats to kill them, this, that, and the other, and then they came in and they arrested me. So how long did you get for that? I got uh, five weeks, because it was a five brief... Five weeks? Yeah, five, it was ten weeks, and then it went from... So obviously when you get 10 it goes from, yeah. it goes to 5 and then I'd already done 14 days on remand. So is that the only time you went to prison then? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. what was it like those two weeks in prison? Well, in, in total, it, 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 was five, it was five weeks in total, but... Uh, five? Yeah. In, in, Quite a long time, isn't it, to be inside? No, no, it wasn't that long. It's, well, put it like this, it's not something I'd willingly go back and do it again. No. It's not something, because it wasn't nice. The whole experience of prison, it's not nice at all. It's not nice. Well, so. good luck with your son and sort him out. Mm -hmm. I hope you get a decent access to him. Yeah, it's not yeah. a problem. I I'm, hope so. I'm I sure you are a fantastic father. Oh, I'd like to think so. And I'm sure he'll be very proud of you when he gets to watch this one day. Yeah, one day, hopefully, no problem.